One, one of the things about this room is there's very conventional ways of furnishing a room like this. The, the two that would be most obvious would be to put a center table in the center of the room or to put a round poof where there's a little pillar in the back that acts as the back with a round seat around it so people could sit in a circle. Um, I didn't want this room to be furnished in such a predictable or an expected fashion. Um, and I also wanted this room to strongly encourage conversation. Uh, during the time we were trying to furnish this room, I was breezing through a Sotheby's auction catalog and I saw what was called a, uh, a dating couch by the Victorians. Um, one of these units is one dating couch and they were designed such that the girl and the boy couldn't get too close together. Uh, and when I saw these, it occurred to me that if we arranged four of them um, in a pinwheel, um, they would encourage all sorts of different conversations and that people could talk across them, people could talk to people next to them, and it really would form a, a very dynamic centerpiece for conversation. And that's exactly what I wanted this room to be about. Uh, friends coming together, founders coming together to discuss what they were about to see, to discuss what they had seen, to celebrate their lives that are intertwined, the lives of their children, the lives of their friends. So to me, both symbolistically and factually, it really does represent what this room is supposed to be about.